So before we get into this video, I just like how TikTok just says, just give you guys a little disclaimer, right? It says the action in this video could result in serious injury or adverse health effects. Hmm. I put videos up and they just take it down, but yet they get this one right here that could cause a problem or a healthy fats. They leave it up and leave it with a disclaimer. Wow. Let's get into the video. Don't ever cut me off, cause I will ride you with my bright lights on for a whole hour until I get tired. Not the way. What's good, everybody? Welcome back. That's right. To another as super exciting episode of the Lockout Man Podcast Show. And we're here with another trucker reaction video. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at three mishaps today. Three of them. We're going to give you three for the price of one. Three. Yes, sir. Uh, three, 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 three. Say it loud with me. Three, 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 three. Out of these three people, man, in each one of these videos is like horrible in its own sense. <laughs> Lady drivers that's just doing it all wrong. Putting other people's safety in jeopardy. Now, they might come back and say, no, 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 we're, we're not putting people's safety in jeopardy. You know, you just don't mess with me. I just don't like the way you drive and, and this, that, and the third. Well, number one, you got your phone. There's a whole bunch of things just wrong, period. For starters, putting it out there, that's 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 wrong in a, in a whole sense, especially when you come back and say the company name that you work for. That's just... That's just as wholeheartedly bad. And then the last video we're going to look at, we're going to we're going to look at a young man that that claims that he don't like people's political beliefs or or, you know, or whatever. Or what is that political or religion or whatever beliefs? He says that um, if if you have a Biden poster or or a Black Lives Matter flag or anything that's on your door, he's not delivering your packages. How you guys feel about that? You over here spend your hard earned money and you waiting on somebody to bring you your packages only to come up short. Man comes up, sees Black, Ma Black Lives Matter flag on your porch or on your house and he says to himself like, no, nah, I ain't gonna deliver here. Dude, you know, you 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 messing with people. You 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 messing with people's livelihood, bro. Somebody ordered Amazon. The, 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 they they ordered the Amazon. They inspect the order to be there at their house at the time where Amazon said it would be there. So you need to get off your high horse, my G, and and do the job. If you don't like the job, then quit even though you claim that you quit already prior to you making that video. Well, let's put it like this. You you come back and make another video. He he came back, made another video talking about, well, you know, it's some fake news talking about that the video went viral, but I already quit. Well, you, 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 you shouldn't have put it out there in the first place, bro. Don't ever cut me off. Cause I will ride you with my bright lights on for a whole hour until I get tired. Don't do it. So I like you mad because I don't have my bright lights on for about a good 15 minutes already. Do not cut me off. Let's meet this young lady right here. Her name is That Damn She La. That damn Sheila. What's going on, little lady? You are a what now? What are you? Um, I work for FedEx and I'm local and OTR. All right, local and OTR. So you're a FedEx driver. So you work for one of the pinnacle 
places out here that's that's first thing first it's all about safety what you was doing there in your previous video don't ever cut me off because i will ride you with my bright lights on for a whole hour until i get tired don't do it so i know you mad because i don't have my bright lights on for about a good 15 minutes already so again, there's so many things that's wrong with this video. Let's start off with the fact that she got her cell phone in her hand. Let's start off with that. I'm sure FedEx has a cell phone policy that you're not supposed to have your cell phone or any mobile device in your hand while driving a CMV. I'm surprised you didn't get pulled over by the cops. Because I'm sure you got your phone, like your camera, straight up playing with the Zoom and everything, complaining about somebody cutting you off. You have your phone in your hand. You have your phone, your whole phone in your hand, complaining about somebody else bad driving. FMCSA states that you're not supposed to have your phone. It's illegal. Let me rephrase that. It's illegal to have your cell phone in your hand while driving a commercial vehicle. You can get a cell phone ticket. Luckily for you, you did not get that ticket. But I am sure that your company, FedEx, has a cell phone policy like all other policy all other companies do that if you have your cell phone in your hand it is is either grounds for termination or grounds for uh suspension not sure in your case all right so let's just get that part out of the way uh that damn Sheila Shayla Sheila Sheila Okay, let's just get that out the way. The other problem is you're driving dangerously. With your bright lights on, you're driving dangerously right now. That's not cool. You know, you're hindering the other, you're hindering the driver in front of you. Now, suppose he's trying to get over. He's, he's trying to get back over in the right lane, and he can't do that because you got your whole bright lights on, and he can't see. Suppose that there was a family of four on the side of him, and he pulls over and runs them off the road. Then whose fault is that? That, that fault is going to lie back on you, Shayla. It's going to fall back on you because you had your bright lights on because you're upset that he cut you off. You don't do that. You don't play with people's lives out here, man. You plan with people's lives. Here's a couple of people that feel some kind of way about you driving. For a ride to with my bright lights on, but hope. Boy, there's so many things wrong with this video. I encourage y'all to go check it out. Go give her your opinion on it. For starters, you guys should have been in the right lane. I ain't saying you deserve to be cut off. But, you ride behind me with your highlights on, there's a couple things that can happen. You know what? Thank you for saying that, bro. I did not say that in my, in my past monologue. But yes, both of y'all should have been in the right lane. All right? Now, maybe you was in the left lane and he just happened to get over because maybe he was letting somebody in from the right lane. So how is that cutting cutting you off? In your in your video, the dude is like is like about one, two, three, four, four cars ahead of you. So how did he cut you off again? One, I got lights on the back of my cab that promises you'll dim yours in a hurry. If that don't work, we can come to a stop in the middle of the interstate. We can chat about it. When all else fails, i got a witch bar. You don't dim them, I will. And, oh, I'll call the cops. Give a fuck. I've had the cops call on me for less. Don't be dumb. Do better. I, too 
with my bright lights on, but hold out. And you are a hazard to people on the road. If you think that you're not affecting everybody else on the road, thinking you're only getting back at one driver to cut you off, do that to me. And let's see how that, how well that works for you, okay? Don't be playing out here. Playing will get you and other people hurt. You don't want to do that. And I wonder if FedEx would approve of your driving skills and your way of thinking, okay? Don't, don't fuck around and find out. So this young lady right here that made a, that made a response video to that, she made a comment. I think it was her. I'm not sure, but she made a comment. And in that comment, she said something to the effect of somebody, you know, somebody you're going into a ditch because you plan too much or whatever the case. Right? I mean, she's 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 she got a valid point, man. Like really. The, I mean, FedEx. I mean, <laughs> you you work for one of the premier premier trucking companies out here and for tiktok you're gonna you're gonna waste your job your your opportunity where do you work at again uh, i work for fedex and i'm local and otr okay so you work for fedex and you're local and you otr but do you think fedex is gonna like it when you make threats to other truck drivers Listen, before I find my stuff in the ditch, bitch, you're going to find your stuff in the ditch. Do not fucking play with me. I have nothing to play with. Like I said, see me when you see me. Okay? Not hard to find. See me when you see me. See me when you see me. Man, that's that's, that's how it's going to go down, man. This is how it's going to go down. But you're, you're, may, you're causing the problems, though, Shay. I'm just saying, you're causing the problem, all right? It's just so many issues that's going on with you right now, man. It's not good. And I I hope that you still have your job. I mean, if you do, good. But if I were you, I would take these particular videos down. Because trust me, FedEx do have somebody that's watching people's videos all the time. Especially when you put FedEx in the name, they're going to find your video and then they're going to know who you are and then you're going to you're going to lose your job, man. All because of TikTok. I'm just saying TikTok, man, people, people, y'all stop. Stop messing up your careers and your jobs for views and likes. I'm just saying about this new policy where FedEx won't deliver packages to you, packages you've paid for, based on your political beliefs? Don't take my word for it. Uh, here's a FedEx employee. Uh, let's say that he's no longer an employee of FedEx. So I'm not sure if this was like a FedEx uh the actual FedEx or probably one of these third party carriers for FedEx or whatever the case, but he's sitting there with a FedEx shirt on. So I'm going to assume that it is FedEx. All right. So I want to turn it down because he got music playing in the background. And of course, YouTube would deem me for the audio. So let's read the caption, shall we? So sorry to come on here and let y'all know that if you don't have a flag in front of your house and if you have a Joe Biden or a Camille, a Camilla effing camel toe posted up in front of your house or black lives matter y'all see that black lives matter he will not deliver your shit he will not deliver your shit he will bring it back to the shop to the station 
and he won't bring it to you. If you even get a whiff that I sport Biden or Black Lives Matter, or maybe even a pride flag, you won't deliver my package. This is a FedEx policy. I assume it must be a FedEx policy. You're in the uniform making these statements. Because if this isn't a policy that FedEx has, this is a really odd way to quit your job. And actually, he did quit his job. In the next video, he will explain. What's up, TikTok? I'm on here to make a video about how the media likes to flip shit. Apparently, saying that FedEx had fired me after the video went viral. Hmm. Funny. Well, I have a couple of text messages that I sent out to my boss in August, saying that September 3rd was going to be my last day. Here's the text message. Here's another text message. September 13th. Here's a text message that I sent to my coworker on my last day. Crazy how I posted that video last Friday, last Saturday. And that video went viral a few days ago, I think Wednesday or Thursday. I didn't know I can get fired when I didn't work there anymore. Just shows how the media can flip shit. <laughs> Just to show you how media, you know, fuck around and do a lot of fake shit. But, bro, you put it out there, though. You put it out there for the media to get a hold of it and for the world to get a hold of it, bro. You put it out there for likes and views. You, you maybe didn't think that it was going to go viral, but it did. You know, number one, you made vulgar. You, I, I, I forgot what you said about Camilla Harris, our vice president. First black female vice president in the history of presidency, I'm just saying. But here's a guy that obviously he just used the vehicle to quit. Where are you going to go to work at after this, bro? Who's going to want to hire you after you put after you put that out there? I'm just saying, I'm just saying, people, you guys, when y'all come on social media, man, y'all just, y'all just go with the flow and say what the fuck. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't understand it. I'm just, uh, look, I'm just saying, yo, I got one more video before we get out of here tonight. Kill me when they get right in front of you. You are literally 56 feet in front of me, bro. I hate when they do that shit. Why not drive your ass way the fuck up there and then get your ass over, bro? I don't get that shit. I don't get why trucks get right the fuck over in front of another fucking truck. If you are struggling to get past me and I'm only going 65 miles per fucking hour, you need to slow your way the fuck down and just take the fuck back there. Now I got to break and shit because you want to drive dumb as fuck. Because I care about my goddamn life and it's raining and shit. You want to jump in front of me, and it was literally like 52 feet in front of me. The fuck? Well, here's another female driver complaining about somebody else's bad driving habits. Somebody must have cut it her off in the rain. But here we go again. You, what, 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 what you do? You grab that good old phone that you're not supposed to have in your hand and make a TikTok video to complain about somebody else's bad driving. But here it is. Here's what's bad about your video and about bad what you're doing right now. You may hate that the other drivers cut you off. You may hate the way they driving you may love the fact that your life matter but you 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 number one you breaking laws and you putting people's lives in danger why why everybody let me pause the video right here 
Leave your comments in the comments below with, with what's, what's wrong with her video. All right? Let me know. All right, so here we go. So you got your phone in your hand. There it is. Phone in your hand to record a video of another bad driver. Okay? Why didn't you just hit the... You, you know Garmin, you know, dash cam. It does record video. It records audio, too. And it's hands-free. You could have just went back into the video, got that, uploaded, and then boom. Didn't have to put your phone in your hand. Number two, it's raining. Number three, you're doing 65 miles an hour, sis. <laughs> you're doing 65 miles an hour. That's that's what your truck governed at. Look, be the professional driver that you're supposed to be. You're supposed to watch out not only for yourself but for others while you're on this road, man. I'm just telling you. And right now, in the rain, your cell phone in your hand, and 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 all this, that, and the third, and you complaining about somebody else's driving. Man, I tell you, I tell you, I tell you, TikTok, man, I tell you, man, I tell you, 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 you guys love jumping on social media and just and and just say and do whatever the fuck. I don't, I don't get it. I, I don't understand how your company, you know, don't see this, which they they might. And what you going to turn around and say, oh, well, this is my channel and I can say and do what I wanted to say on here. But you're in their vehicle putting other people's lives in danger because what? You have your cell phone in your hand. I'm surprised none of you guys ever get caught. Well, that's going to do it. Guys, if you like this video, man, leave a like. It helps out the channel a lot. It does what it's supposed to do. Thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. Yo, make sure you guys follow me on TikTok and Instagram. And for more videos like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell notification to get notified. I am Lockout Man, and hopefully, hopefully, you guys will do better. Come on now, do better. I'm out. Folks kill me when they get right in front of you. You are literally 56 feet in front of me, bruh. I hate when they do that shit. Why not drive your ass way the fuck up there and then get your ass over, bruh?